I'm Molly and I'm a registered nurse at the UT Southwestern Plastic Surgery Clinic. We work with both aesthetic and reconstructive patients. I'm Tori and I'm a registered nurse and certified breast care nurse in the Simmons Comprehensive Cancer Center at UT Southwestern and I work in the Surgical Oncology Clinic. After surgery, a uh, fluid may collect in the surgical site. A JP drain may be placed by the surgeon to help drain the fluid and speed healing. A JP drain looks like this and it consists of a bulb where the fluid collects and a tube that runs into the surgical area and this helps drain off that fluid that Molly was talking about. It's important to make sure that you keep track of this and take care of it, so we're gonna show you a little bit about how to do that. The JP drain, the ball of itself, will need to be emptied two to three times a day or uh, when needed or when it's full, about this full. You'll be keeping track of how much is coming out of your drain two to three times a day um, and you'll be writing it down on a log. You want to take that log with you to all of your appointments with the surgeons um, so that they can make sure that it's on track. Every day, two to three times a day, you'll be stripping the drain. So this part of the drain will actually be inside um, of the surgical area. Usually there's a dark mark on the drain and that'll be where the drain stops at your incision. So if you see the drain pulled and this uh, marker comes out further from the insertion site, let us know. Say this is wrapped into your body. How to strip, you're going to hold the end where the tube is inserted and you're going to strip nice and easy. You're gonna hold tension again and then just squeeze the fluid, kind of like you're squeezing a tube of toothpaste, down into the bulb. So after you strip, then you're going to empty the bulb. So to empty the bulb, you'll want to have someone or yourself open this plug here on the drain, and then you'll want to have a measuring cup with you. It can be um, either a small me medicine cup, or um, you'll be given some cups like this from the hospital that have measurements on them, and you'll want to uh, carefully squeeze the bulb into that cup. And you may have some clots or some thicker pieces that develop inside the bulb, that's okay. Um, just try to get as much of it out as you can. And then you'll measure in milliliters the amount that's coming out of the drain. And then you can just empty this into your toilet and flush it down. Make sure you wash your hands after you take care of your drains. So after you empty your drain, you need to put the bulb back to suction. You do that by squeezing and putting the stopper back in. Some troubleshooting, if your drain does not hold suction afterwards and it just completely inflates and stays inflated, we would like you to look for possible holes in the tubing. Um, you can always call us if you have looked for holes and it's still inflating and you just don't know what to do. We can kind of work you through it. A couple other reasons the drain may not be holding suction are if the drain's too full and needs to be emptied again, and you can empty it beyond the two to three times a day as needed if you notice this. Another reason if your dressing is not intact, it may cause some issues with the suction. So if you notice any of those things, please reach out to your surgery nurses and let us know and we can walk you through that at home. The dressing that will be uh, over the insertion site of where the tube is placed is called a tegaderm. It looks like this. It's a very clear translucent dressing. Um, this may become soiled. It's to help protect moisture from getting into the insertion uh, site. Sometimes it does get soiled and it starts to peel up. That's totally fine. If it does peel up, we can either remove it or replace it. Just let us know and we can help you. Another important thing with surgical drains is to make sure they're always secure. You don't want them to be hanging by gravity and pulling at the insertion site. So there are several different options to keep your drain secure. One of those options that we commonly give to patients is a drain belt. It is a cloth strip that is secured by Velcro and has some loops to hold your drain in place under your clothes. This little plastic loop is on every drain and can be slid onto the drain belt and it can hold all of your drains, up to four drains at a time. Another option would be a lanyard around your neck um, that has a clip and you can slip the lanyard into this loop and clip them onto there as well. Depending on the output of your drain will depend on when your drain can be removed. You will be given discharge instructions about how many cc's per day that the drain is putting out and when to call your clinic and we will determine if your drain is ready to be removed. So a few reasons that you would want to contact your surgeon's office uh, with your drain concerns would be if you have a fever over 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit. The color of the fluid in your drain uh, will range over time. If you ever notice a dramatic change in the color at any one time, uh, definitely let our offices know. If the discharge in it becomes cloudy or has a strong odor to it that's different than what it started out as. Or you have redness around the insertion site and it starts to spread or becomes very warm. If you notice that the drainage tube slips out and this dark 
um, spot on your drain seems further away from your body than it was when you started, let us know. That could be a sign that the drain has been pulled. Um, or if it falls out completely, of course, let us know. Or if your drain will not hold suction and you've already tried the stripping and emptying like we talked about earlier, those are all good reasons to give us a call. Or if you're in doubt, you can always send us a picture or questions through my chart. Uh, we understand this is very new for you and we are always here if you have any questions. You can always call or my chart us. Just remember that your surgical drains are only temporary and they're helping you get to the finish line.